the, one of the reasons I like this episode is that like what you're saying that the the smallness of or that their problems didn't really amount to anything. There's twofold problem with this. One of that ties into the ending, which we can get to. But the the other thing is uh, just not feeling like it had enough going on. I like the smallness of it because to me, there's something extra horrifying to be into Paul's position where their their concerns are so these people are like on the edge of madness, really. Like, it's like, mm-hmm. what are they talking about? And I think that the smallness of their concerns is also effective because it, it takes a little while for you to soak in that something's gone wrong here. Like the, the scene where Hoshi's they asking about their, yeah. yeah, the sh- scene where Hoshi's talking about her food or in- asks Reed about the food, it comes across as just kind of an awkward interaction between the two of them. You don't, you don't get mm-hmm. the sense that they're trying to build that something has gone wrong there, which they, they are, but it comes across more like a, a weird conversation that the crew members are having. And I think that the the smallness of it is interesting to me just because it's realistically terrifying. Like it's kind mm. of, it's strange that they would be stuck on these tiny insignificant things to the point that some people actually call this a comedy episode. I don't go that far. I think that, I think the tone is kind of horrific in a lot of ways and it's maybe a super <clears throat> dark comedy, but I wouldn't call it a comedy, but that's what I like about it. And that's what I like about the smallness of their problems and being obsessed with very stupid things that is um, concerning to, to Paul. Yeah. Well, it's not, it's not the fact that they're concerned with stupid things that bothers me. It's that I don't find that many of them, uh, I, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling what the, what the, uh, the, what you were supposed to get out of their obsession character wise. Um, I, I understand Archer Reed. I get in, in theory, but he's, never really been played as as someone that would be this obsessive um his over obsession about everything that he's getting on about doesn't feel like it's a natural progression of who he is generally he's pretty much just a wet blanket but I, but um, i think the sickness is making them all just obsessive it's not it's not that it's playing sure. up on the, i think i almost think it's like they they all get obsessed with whatever they were doing when they crossed a certain threshold into that radiation mm-hmm. so hoshi's cooking you know and Reed is making his little thing and uh, Trip is working on the chair. So I don't... Yeah, I don't, that's fine. I, I don't but think I, it's a I naked guess... now... It's not a naked now situation where it exposes their inner inhibitions, really. It's just kind of like this random thing that they all get attached to. Yeah. I guess my argument against that would be then... Uh, what's the point? If you're not going to really get anything character-wise out of it? The fa- um, I think the failure is that their obsessions aren't used in the solution. That T'Pol has at the end, where I would sure. say that the script could be clever if T'Pol used the we obsessions. Can't, we can't get through this radiation unless you're sitting in a fully built chair, eating a bowl of soup, while also <laughs> testing an alert system and getting a lobotomy. Something like that. If they had managed to yeah. pay off those threads and T'Pol played their hyper uh, obsessions off in, in a way that... Uh, yeah, I think that came would have together. Been, I think that works. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's she's uh extremely passive through all of this. Uh, if she had found a way to like direct their obsessions yes, into, yeah. into solving the problem, I think that would have been really fun. Um, but help, but they just knock everybody out and take everybody off the board, right? And or the um, the enterprise thing is Archer. She just gives Archer a cold shower. And Archer, just through his sheer manliness, willpower, is able to pull it together enough where he can help her fly the ship through. And it's, yeah. you know, it's just like terrible early 2000 CG of them shooting the asteroids. And it's a typical Enterprise action ending that is disconnected totally from the the problem that they're facing yeah. at that point. And it's, you know, it's just Bakula going like, oh, did you say six or two? Right. Oh, yeah. fuck. It's, oh. E- it's even less engaging than it usually is because it's them like yelling phone numbers at each other right. while they're... <laughs> shaky camming their way through an asteroid field and i don't think their obsessions needed to be the same to tie up that way but you should have rewritten their obsessions to make sense in a way that you can end the episode based on that and once they're clear of the radiation they all just get better from it and to paul has succeeded because she put all this stuff into motion yeah i i would have liked to have seen things get crazier and and then have her have to try and navigate it that way instead of just knocking everybody out um because i i mean at this point after you know 15 seasons of star trek 
opening a show with everybody on the ship being passed out it's like okay fine yeah we're doing this again like I, well, one person I like recording a log too is yeah the, i feel yeah, like yeah. they've done something like that many many times i find um, it effective still so i was i was pleased that yeah, they did it yeah, yeah because i kind of like the setup it doesn't really make a lot of sense and you 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 don't necessarily have to do that to create a mystery you could start it with just to paul with them entering the radiation field it doesn't need to be this flash forward or flashback type of thing but mm -hmm. i i like the it's like a solid enough mystery or i was happy that they did something that i could understand where the mystery was coming from in terms of the show the show wasn't always successfully set up mysteries so i thought that there was mm -hmm. like this is this is effective enough